Hi, I'm Colin from Spaceflight Made Simple, and today I wanted to bring you guys a video about tomorrow's Ariane 5 launch. The Ariane 5 will be carrying Galaxy 30, MEV-2, and BSAT-4B. That's right, three satellites on one Ariane 5. As with all Ariane 5 launches, this rocket will launch from Koyaru in French Guiana. T0 is scheduled for 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday, July 31st. At around that time, the Vulcan engine on the first stage of the Ariane 5 will ignite, and shortly afterwards, the solid rocket boosters will roar to life, lifting the Ariane 5 off the pad and into the heavens. Shortly into flight, the solid rocket boosters will have used up all of their fuel, and they will be jettisoned. This leaves the core stage to continue the job of putting the payload into orbit. Following the separation of the solid rocket boosters, the vehicle will be high enough in the atmosphere where it no longer needs the protection of the aerodynamic fairing. Shortly after that, the first stage will have used up all of its fuel, and like the solid rocket boosters, it will be separated, and the second stage will continue on to orbit. Once the second stage has made a stable parking orbit, it will coast for a short period of time. The engine on the second stage will then be reignited to boost the spacecraft up to a geostationary transfer orbit. Once that second burn is completed, the complex process of releasing the satellites can begin. The first to be released will be Galaxy 30 with the MEV-2 attached to it. After that, the upper stage with the SILDA and BSAT-4B still attached will rotate 90 degrees. After that rotation, the SILDA is jettisoned. The SILDA is a load-bearing protective shell around the lower satellite designed to support the upper two satellites in the fairing. With the SILDA separated, the upper stage will then rotate another 90 degrees, at which point BSAT-4B will be released. Shortly after their separation from the upper stage, Galaxy 30 and the MEV-2 will separate from each other. At this point, all three satellites will deploy their solar panels and begin maneuvering to their final positions in geostationary orbit. They will do all of this maneuvering under the power of their own engines. The MEV-2 will leave to rendezvous with an as-of-yet undisclosed Intelsat satellite, its job being to boost that satellite into a higher orbit to extend its lifetime. Galaxy 30 itself is also an Intelsat satellite. It is specifically part of Intelsat's North American Galaxy series. These satellites provide HD video over, as their name would suggest, North America. Like Galaxy 30, BSAT-4B is also a television satellite. It will serve as a backup for the BSAT-4A satellite launched back in 2017. It will position itself over the Japanese archipelago. From there, it will be able to provide HD 4K video to all broadcast satellite system corporations customers. So if you want to watch this launch, I'm going to leave some links down below in the description that can help you with that. Firstly, I'll leave a link to Ariane Space's YouTube channel where they'll livestream the launch. And I'll also leave a link to my Twitter where I'll post up-to-date information about this launch and other upcoming launches. And if you have any questions about this launch or anything else in Spaceflight, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments. I'll try my best to answer them there, or who knows, they might become the topic of a future video. And lastly, if you enjoyed this video, head down below, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. So for Spaceflight Made Simple, I'm Colin and I will see you next time.